Hey guys, it's Amber. Hey, what's up? And this is my partner Shane. Uh, welcome to week six. Am I correct? I think so. Um, this week we wanted to talk <coughs> about um, passing. Um, there's a bunch of different topics um, that we can like cover. Well, like areas of the topic. Um, one of my favorites is um, Packers. Am I supposed to talk now? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, some guys like to pack. Uh, makes them feel more comfortable. Makes them feel more like a, a cisgendered male does. Because, obviously, they have an actual penis. Um, and pretty much... Well, why don't you explain what a packer is? That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me finish. Anyways, uh, so pretty much what it is is it's uh, a dildo, um, uh, which is like a prosthetic penis. Prost there we go. Thank you. <laughs> and pretty much what it does is it goes into your underwear uh, and it goes in like this little pouch. It's like well, a no, it's different. No, there's you have a pouch. I'm saying it's different for different because people use it in different, like, they don't use what I use. Like, they can use other things is what I'm saying. There are different options. Well, the one I know has a pouch. Yeah, well, for, for instance, what she's talking about is how, <laughs> sorry, how, uh, for my packer, pretty much it's, uh, underwear that, uh, has a little pouch in the inside. Undies. <laughs> Usually it's like boxer briefs or yeah. boxers. Usually boxer briefs though. And pretty much uh, the dildo goes into the pouch within, like in the inside of the boxer briefs, not uh, not on the outside. Yeah. So that way it looks concealed. So if you were to walk out of your dorm or of your room with just your underwear on, no one can tell. Exactly. Um, and then. There are other ways you can also pack where people have made, where people have made, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it, they've used hair gel and they put it in, bo uh, no, condoms, there we go, condoms, and they made a big part and then two, like, small parts that were, are con yeah, <laughs> you know, and then, with hair gel? Yeah, that or other gel. I don't Have know. you done that? No, I, it's not comfortable for me. It, did, it doesn't look like it'd be comfortable for me. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, any, anyways, <laughs> um, um, the the other way is also you can you can get a dildo again, and then there's harnesses you can use to put. Ooh, ooh can I tell one way I know? I feel like I'm in school, like, ooh, ooh, pick me. Um, but, yeah, you take the dildo, and then, so, you know, I'm, like, boxers. Here, let me see. Like, there's, like, ooh, ooh, there's, like, rubber part right here. Um, that part, if you just, like, cut those off, um, and then make a tie, like, so cut off the boxers and just have like the rubber part and then um what you do is you take um like a, an exact like a knife or like scissors and make a little slit and then you take your dildo and you have the balls like facing you and then stick it through and then that way it holds it i've heard of one one person doing that i've seen it on youtube yeah, I've seen it done on YouTube, so, um, I guess for me, I found the easiest way, way for him, way for me to, I mean, him. not the cheapest way, but, yeah, not the cheapest, but, but for me, it, I guess, out of all of the options I had, it made me feel the most comfortable, because it, 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 it holds on tighter to, to my body, so it makes it so feel like it he makes, actually has one. Whereas, um, 
I feel like the other ones would make it seem more separate from my body, and so it, it just made it more dysphoric. Exactly. So definitely, if for you boys out there, um, when you're looking for like packer underwear things, um, <laughs> when you're going to buy a size, and you're like, hmm, do I pick extra small or small? Go with the smaller size. Because, look at Shane. What are you trying to say? Shane was trying to decide between extra small and small. And literally could not pick one. And I'm like, honey, just pick the extra small. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm a small. I'm a small. Guess who, when they put it on, was like, mm, they're kind of a little big. And you can't return underwear. So, hmm. Okay, it fits my new packer, okay? My new dildo. Okay, so shush. Yeah, he has a new one. They come in different sizes. <laughs> well, they do. No, we I know, just I know. did. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, flung my sock off. And it, like, shot off like a rocket. And landed it into the uh, trash can. Oh, it did? Yeah. Are you picking that up? No, you are. Anyways. Uh, stop being... Anyways. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is my stern face. <laughs> do you like it? Do you think that would work? Like, don't, don't do that. You just look like a little kid. I'm cheering up. Is that working? No. Anyways, <laughs> as we were trying to say, uh, uh, places that you can go online to purchase a dildo's tool shed. Tool shed. Um, where did you go? Tool shed. Is that the guy? Is that the guy with the owner? No, no, no. That was where I got my dildo. Um, oh. No, fr- the one with the underwear. Yeah, I know. I, I, I realized that that's where I got my... But tool shed's where I, you got your dildo. Yeah, and I forget the site for... Um, what's it called? For my... For my... Undies. Yeah. Um, I'll try to put have her put a link down there afterwards in the information box. For Actually, my- I'll go grab some of your... Can, can I grab... A demonstration. I'm gonna grab underwear. Hold on. Talk to Shane. Keep them engaged. Hi guys. Um, what else was were we gonna talk about? Oh, passing tips. So, um, Wait, no, one I'm thing. Back, back. She doesn't like to be out of the limelight too. Ha <gasps> ha. Fun. Okay. You know. So for the most part, <sighs> Packers. Um, some of them will come like. They'll take regular underwear that you can buy at the store and then add stuff to it. So, this is Shane's favorite. (laughs) The champion. So, they're just like boxer briefs. Um, And then, ready? Look on the inside. No, they can't see that. I'm looking... See that you they can't see that. See, so right here. This is the front. This little and then, mesh. And then mm-hmm. right here, you put your buddy. Buddy, really? Yeah, because look at ready? You pocket hand. It fits yeah, it, like a pocket. It, it was sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> and the um actually the company transwear oh. used oh. to put I know it's backwards. But transwear used to actually be on the outside. So they actually redid it and put the label on the inside. And don't try taking them off because we've tried and they're like melted on. Okay, ready? But over time they'll wear off. Stop moving it. I'm not trying to. So yes. Wendy's. I'm trying to balance it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, tips for passing. Um, the tips that I can give like the girlfriends out there would be just like when you're in public and stuff like that, just like keep reassuring your partner is male. Like, oh honey, you're such a good boyfriend. Like, look how strong you are. You can carry my bag for me. Or, um, you know, just... just you're such just, a gentleman. You're such a gentleman. The small things are what really like... 
count. Because if 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 the um if the males out there feel like they're inferior to cisgendered males, or if they feel like they're not passing that day, the reassurance from the girlfriends really does help. And if if there are, are FTMs out there that don't have them, like friends and stuff can help with that. That's what my friends have uh, done for me um, in the past and stuff. And it, it really helps your self-esteem, uh, knowing that your friends and your significant other has your um, best interest and knows how to make Boost sure you. that yeah make Boost sure you that up. you feel comfortable with yourself and honestly like <clears throat> even though like for the most part like you can't tell it's it's like goes day by day like there's days when they'll be like I'm feeling great about passing and then other days they'll, like the next day they'll feel awful so it's like a roller coaster goes up and down and my hand looks really funny when I do this mm-hmm <laughs> um um oh other passing um voice so for any of you guys that are pre Shane would know more about this because I wasn't with Shane when he um pre anything I was with Shane post uh T alright well pretty much what I did was um I used to work somewhere and um, the person didn't know that I was trans. I went in as male and identified as that and stuff. And as I was applying for the job, um, I guess for me, I kind of had a lower voice from the beginning. Uh, it was quieter, but I had a lower voice from the beginning. But uh, I knew that it wasn't low enough to pass, so I tried figuring out a steady voice that would seem like a male voice, and uh, so pretty much, sorry, excuse me, I had to, pretty much what I did was I kind of practiced in the mirror with different voices, uh, trying to see which one suited me. You have to figure out which one suits you because you don't want to overdo it because then that's just going to, I feel like, make it seem more suspicious or something, but I could be totally wrong. Anyways, so as I was interviewing for the job, uh, the person had no clue I was trans because I was able to make myself pass enough and also because Asians are more androgynous. It's easier for us to pass more, but there are still times during work uh, when I was, when I did th think I was passing, my parents and friends would tell me I was definitely passing pre T. Um, there were still some people who automatically thought I was female and even with the short haircut and stuff, and with the voice. Was so, this was this pre T? Yeah, I just said that. I'm just, I'm just double checking. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying. Uh, so anyways, with that, um, I, I, of course, had to tell her my situation because, um, uh, my paperwork wasn't done, um, wasn't processed to say that I was male on all my legal documents, so I had to tell her or else that's kind of perjury or whatever you call it. Uh, anyways, she, she, she thought, wow, I had no clue you were uh, transgender and stuff, and so just, I guess, knowing what suits you for your voice, like trying to lower it, um, try doing it in the mirror enough times and, and finding the, uh, an octave that you find comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, you don't want to, like, strain your voice. Yeah. Like, can I be honest? I don't think I could, I could do it, like, don't make fun of me, but I'm going to try it right now, but I can't do it. I'm really bad at it. I'd be like, hi, I'm Amber. How are you? And I just sound like, I sound like a frog. So, I'd probably really suck at it. That, and I'm scared of needles. So, oh, want to talk about that? What about it? <laughs> about the other day. Mm -hmm. So... Shane, obviously, every, like, 14 days has... Ten. Or ten. Why did I say 14? 
Because sometimes some guys Some people do 14. I don't know why. 10 days seems pretty quick for me, though. Um, oh, no, I was thinking 4. Why I think 4? Um, because he does 0. 0.4, right? 0. 0.4. Well, 0. 0.4. Yeah. Well, there's a 0 in front of it. I think I said 0. 0.04. No, I said 0. 0.4. Um, that's his prescription. So, um, I kind of, I'm, even though I'm afraid of needles, I asked him if he would teach me how to do it. Just in case, like, he, like, if he ever, like, needs to do it and, like, is too sick to do it or for some odd reason cannot do it. At least then, like, I could step in without him having to, like, go to the nurse on campus. Or his mom. Which I have not done. I'm just saying. But anyways, yeah, she started queezing and... Queezing? Queezing, like, getting nauseous, whatever. Jeez. Anyways, getting queezy. There we go, that's what I meant, that's what I meant. Anyways, anyways, uh, so I, 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 I that was the first yeah, try. I said, showing, showing me. I said, not happening well, this time. <laughs> wait a minute. Since like the first day we started going out, I've like watched, but I haven't like been like. I would sit on the bed, and he'd be like, the bed's higher up than the actual like chair on the floor, so I would sit in the bed and watch. But this time I actually literally got like face to face with the needle and I'm like She said, I gotta go to the bathroom yeah. after. And I thought, I don't know if I should let her put it in me. So this the second time I was able to watch without getting sick, so the next time we're gonna try to like me hold it with him or something. I'm just kidding. I wanna be able to do it. Yeah, I know. She really does want to be able to do it. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I mean, usually, girlfriends are like, oh, shot, okay, bye. No, you can go do that yourself. Yeah. And also, we like to do it. Even though sometimes we're, like, some guys are afraid of needles, but still do it that way. We like to do it because, I don't know, it's just our ritual. We we enjoy it. Yeah, but it and would be nice if you could just be like, well, I don't feel like doing it today. My girlfriend will do it. Mm, yes, if they're not, they don't get queasy. Yes, but if I can get over that. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Funny one. Um, other ways of passing. Uh, oh, clothing. So... Pretty much, she she always saw me. She would make fun of me for this, but in in a cute way. But she would make fun of me for wearing plaid shirts all the time. Well, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. So even if you're like pre t, you know, layering Post is really. Op. I mean pre op, pre op. That's right. before. Right, but pre t, pre anything. Yes, but I'm just. I'm saying. just. We agree, pre. Pre. Layering is really good because it distracts you and it patterns also distract you that. from that area that he had like a free chest. Um, but I couldn't even tell and I'd always be like, why do you always wear, he, it was beginning of like September, like September 1st and it was 85 degrees out. 85, 90, one day it was 90. Yeah, 90. In classroom and he's wearing a, this is probably what he's wearing underneath, his um, binder. A t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a sweatshirt, uh, pants, and sneakers. Yeah. I was, all the layers when I took them off that night, all sweating. Drenched in sweat. I was like, how are you not hot? And I said, I'm Asian. We're from Asia. <laughs> We're used yeah, which to. Which was so stupid. <laughs> which was so stupid. And, oh, if you guys really want to make sure you're passing, do me a favor. When, like, I forget how this came we it's shots again, we're back to shots. Um, it came up, like, <sighs> something about shots, oh, and I didn't like them, yeah. and he's like, he's like, oh, well, I always get, you know, I always deal with needles, I'm like, why? And he's like, um, because I'm adopted. I was like, okay. It kind of, like, that kind of stuck out to me a little bit, like, what does he mean? So when he had been trying to tell me that he was transgender, and I had thought he had cancer... That's why I thought he had cancer, because I was like, he has cancer because he can't tell me, and that's why he knows he, like, deals with needles all the time. 
so. I could have diabetes, too, you know. Yeah, but you would have said something. So, yeah. Not everyone says stuff about diabetes, but... Anyways, um, so, mm. yeah, uh, layering helps, uh, for guys out there who have bigger chests, uh, my friend, uh, also, his friend, yeah, has, he, ha he has a bigger chest, and, and he, he tries not to layer as much, because it, it stresses his back out a lot, uh, it strains it, but, for the most part, because he's kind of a bigger guy, He's able to get away with it. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, he tries to to uh, bind every day. I haven't seen him bind, though. So, I mean, like, that makes me feel good that, like, he was pretty comfortable not binding in front of me. Because mm -hmm. I know that you guys get... It's pretty chill, dude. He's pretty chill. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. Anyways, um, other things. Oh. She is just super talkative tonight, huh? Shush. Shoes. Um, Shoes. Well, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because some guys have smaller shoe sizes. Uh, what I what I advise is for people who have smaller shoe sh size. Um, yeah. For for women. Um, what you should do is get two sizes bigger, a size or two bigger. Because it makes your your feet look bigger, and it kind of distracts people from thinking that. Even though, for for the most part, if you're passing from your waist up, you're you're probably definitely fine. But for those who feel like yeah, I don't you... think I'm gonna pass well enough, the shoes can help. Uh, because yeah. that helped me because I'm a smaller guy. I'm not that tall. I'm five three and a half. He's 5'2". He's 5'2", okay? He is 5'2", because five, I am 5'2". 5'3 and, and a half. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. That's what my doctor said, so shush. Anyways. Shh. Anyways. Uh. Stop it. Anyways. Stop him to stop it. <laughs> uh. Bash his face in. Woo. Anyways. So for me and men's, uh, I would get size 7 or 8 when in women's usually I'm an 8 and for men's uh, a size six. 7 is a 6? No, no size no. 7 is a size 9 in women's because it's whatever men's is add two sizes up for women no oh, okay I specifically know the difference the I guess anyways so that's what I did, and uh, it, it helped me because I just felt like the fact that I was shorter and the fact that my hands are also smaller and stuff, I want to make something that looked a little bigger. Uh, so that's why I made my feet look bigger. And I, I mean, the, the shoes I use, which are size 8 right now, they're not that big on me. Like, from the. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They actually look like they'd like. That's how big his feet would be. Exactly. So, I know how to work them. But, uh, anyways. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyways, so, that's, for the most part, I, th I feel like that's, uh, that's most of the tips for, for passing. passing yeah. Uh, Being nice to people also helps. Are you trying to mock me or something? Or trying yeah, to... Shane was an ass when we first met. Okay, I thought playing out the the being not so nice tough guy <laughs> thing would work, and it pretty much did work for her, even though she was pissed off out of her mind. She she I think you she owe liked me. me. I think you owe me right now. You should make up for it. And how's that? Oh oh, you want a kiss? Mm -hmm. She knows I love her. Anyways, um, I might love you too. <laughs> Ouch. Anyways, um, what else is there? I don't, there's not really much, much else. else you can really do. Uh, I'm. I mean, I know that 
people out there who don't really like to pack. So, so what I suggest is don't wear very skinny jeans. No. Not saying, okay. not saying that it you won't pass. It's just sometimes because for some reason, some person out there who is There's all suspicious sunny. or something might say something out loud and it'll get you paranoid and make you rethink your your wardrobe or something so what i suggest is uh wearing i guess looser baggier pants for those who don't feel comfortable packing i i'm i'm saying i'm not saying and, that you can and, it's just sometimes you might not be able to get away with it in pre op you want to Wear, like, looser shirts. Like, don't, like... Don't wear too tight, yeah. Don't wear, like, super tight. Like, in V-necks, probably, unfortunately, not gonna work out. Some people are able to... Uh, Some people are able to, if you don't have an issue, like, showing a little bit of your binder. But, like, with Shane, look at, ready? Look what I can do. Look it. He has a V-neck on now. <laughs> That's a funny one. Uh, come on, admit it. How much do you love doing this? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Do you want to show me your scars? No, we'll do that in another video. I just teased you, didn't I? No, we'll do... No, I didn't want to today. I'm not comfortable oh. today. We'll do a video coming up soon on um, top surgery and how we feel about top surgery. And um, So, yeah, it would be really cool if you guys, like messaged me or commented on like what you want to see for a video because starting to run out of ideas not really but i feel she like they're getting still boring just ramble. yeah actually today shane thinks it's his blog so <laughs> shane just babbled yeah. i'm just informing you wanted me to come inform on how to pass because i was supposed to be double teaming and it was mostly he's a ball hog Pretty much. Okay, if you guys don't like me, you can just comment and say, I don't want Shane in the videos anymore. Oh, no. Just, just say it. It's okay. Um, I won't be hurt too much. I think maybe. Shane should make up for it, don't you? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> maybe he should take me out to dinner. What do you guys think? Oh. If you guys think that Shane should take me out to dinner for being mean, comment. Please, I will love you if you comment. Alright, so sorry for making this the longest video we've had to date. Um, yeah, but... I was on time. Kind of. You know, college life, late night, whatever. Um, we should probably cut it because I might not... We're going to cut it. We're going to cut it. Um, see you guys next Wednesday. Mwah! Bye!